many thanks for joining me, Alice, for yet another Somerset Riddell review. Okay, we've got the Madman today. It's from the Wild Beer Company. It's the Wild Beast chocolate crushed espresso and vanilla uh, drink wildly different. I love dark beers like uh, Espresso Star Dark Ales and I love the Wild Beer Company. I try and let that zoom in so you can sort of see what's written on there. Yeah, it's a cheeky sort of um, midweek beer review um, today. I kind of uh, got these few beers, try and hold it steady there so you can read that. Hopefully you have. Um, yeah, I've got these few beers uh, from um, Corks of Cotham which I bought at Christmas and uh, I'm uh, sort of trying to just review them because I've got sort of three beers left that uh, I really want to review and it's like it's the end of March now and I really want to get them done and I've got another IPA as well I've just remembered I've left a bottle open over there he's back I'm back um, yeah so I really want to get these beers reviewed and uh, like 11% it's kind of a hard one for me to review on a Sunday night because uh, of, uh, of work but at the moment it's sort of three in the afternoon so you know it's got to be done right anyway let's crock it open crock it open crack it open sorry i didn't mention the it's 330 mils uh the volume 11 percent ebv nice smoky opening plain black um, let's shoot her in a glass right wow that is coming out like treacle this glass is filthy, I do apologise. It's been sat on my uh, windowsill where I keep all my glasses. Which probably isn't the best idea in the world. There's a little bit of yeast left in there. But look at that beer. I mean, you can see the carbonation clinging to the glass because it is dirty, but it doesn't really bother me that much. Um, it's jet black. Tiny bit of sort of amber light getting through there at the base. Coffee coloured, coffee tan coloured head. Very small head. Let's get the nose in. Back of the net, you're getting all of that in there. You're getting the chocolate. You are definitely, definitely getting the espresso. Or the coffee, really sort of quality coffee. Probably come from Clifton Coffee Company or someone like that, the coffee, which is like a Bristol coffee company. Also getting the vanilla, incredibly sweet. Fruity. The roasted malts in there. It smells amazing. I've got to drink this. Cheers, everybody. Ah. Uh, oh, that's, that is. Ah, oh, there it is. That is it. So sweet. So smooth, so rich. Alcohol burn at the end, very, very slightly. Sweet vanilla, dark chocolate, coffee. It's amazing. It is amazing, but it's not a sessioner. It 11%. Uh, we believe exceptional brewing stems from imagination and passion. It's not just a process, never ever, blah, 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 blah. I won't read all of that. Um, drink wildly different. Beer is not meant for refreshment. Some beers can be ideal for contempt, uh, contemplation and speculation. The liquid equivalent of the lotus position. Uh, nonsense, Aeon. Uh, oh, such a beer is Wild Beast. Our Imperial Espresso Chocolate Vanilla Stout. A judicious selection of pale and dark malts to which is added the highest quality cocoa nibs, freshly roasted Colombian coffee beans. Oh, Colombian. In collaboration with, oh, Tin Can Coffee Company. Don't know who they are. And the chocolate tart. Oh, right, okay. This helps to produce a rich, elegant, creamy, soothing confection of aromas and flavours that can only improve with time. We would describe it as dessert in a glass. Boom, straight away, that's it, it is dessert in a glass. You could have a lovely sort of lamb roast dinner uh, in a pub somewhere and then just sit for half an hour sipping this bad boy. 
instead of a dessert. I'm not a big fan of desserts after a meal. I'd much rather preserve, prefer to have a nice beer. Um, World Beast has enjoyed sips from your favourite brandy snifter. There it is. Um, while sitting comfortably in a plush armchair, uh, preferably next to a roaring fire whilst the weather does its worst outside. Right, well it's really sunny outside, I haven't got an armchair and uh, or a fire so um, I'm just going to sit on my sofa and, and enjoy the rest of this. But anyway, um, that is an amazing, amazing beer. I really, really like that. Uh, Wild Beer Co. Um, something. Oh, they're just on Facebook or, or, or Twitter. They haven't, they haven't got their website on there. Oh yeah, wildbeerco.com. Amazing beer, absolutely unbelievable. I'll let you have one more look at the bottle. Blow me away, once again, Wild Beer, such an amazing brewery. I gotta say, that's another nine out of 10 beer. I absolutely love that. Wild Beast, get it in your life. Thanks for watching me. Love to see your comments down there in the comments box and hopefully you'll join me again soon for another review. Cheers.